Um, you know, I'm on the wrong end of my 20s. I'm a Pisces, single, and a vodka guzzling Pfeiffer. Respect to the Pfeiffers. Um, and I've lived in Glasgow now for, for over six years, so I just want to thank you so much, Glasgow, for accepting me and my Chukta ways. And for those that don't know already, a Chukta is someone from the Highlands, or rural part of Scotland, still using dial-up internet connection and Nokia 3310. <laughs> so I want to welcome you all to my show, Horse Meets Lover. Hey, what a name. I bet you're thinking, what is that nut job talking about? Am I right? Well, the reason why is lately I've noticed the similarity in men I've dated and horse meat. Quite simple. No, no, no. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, you know, it's because I want to take you for a ride. But it's not. No, no, no. You know, it's because they claim that they're 100% prime beef, but they're just full of sea biscuit. They are. <laughs> they're misleadingly mislabeled, so they are. So, I went out shopping for fresh quality ingredients. Sink, and I thought, 
I'll be a good scrubber, I'll get a bash. <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, but the only reason I, I did this, because I excused it as a, a culture difference, because if he was a Scot, I would have told him to get to the ballpark, so I would have, <laughs> no chance. Anyway, three weeks later, he fled the country to Madrid, and I put the yellow marigolds in the bin. Oi! Good timing, guys, that's brilliant. <laughs> So anyway, shopping around again, this time shopping around the market, trying to find 100% prime beef, you know, and I, I thought, I, this time I wanted something that was from my own country, you know, something homegrown and familiar, something I could relate to. So a local lad seemed like a good option, and he was a footballer, and he was a player right enough, he was, although I wish he was Suarez. I do like a good love bite, so I do. <laughs> but he was, he was lovely, you know. And straight away, he said to me, you want to be casual. I didn't really know what that meant. I just thought he wanted to dress down and wear double denim. So I thought that would be really nice. We could get comfortable with each other very, very quickly. But he was lovely. He had it all, the charm, the, the looks, the sense of humour, the lack of communication. I mean, get us. And Connor. Thank why? You. Do we, <laughs> why do we put ourselves through it? I don't know. I don't. You know, we, we ask our friends, we ask each other, like, why is he not called? And then, I, I, like we all do, I get my phone out and then we text, I text myself just to see my phone's still working. <laughs> it's got four bars, it's really good. So I don't really know why. And then I make excuses for them, to saying, oh, do you know what? He's, um, he's really busy working or he's left his phone at. Oh, I don't know, somewhere else, or he's lost my number, or... No, he's been in a terrible accident, and he's lost both his thumbs. There's no chance he's going to phone me back, no way. So then I call him, you know, and then he, he casually answers, and he's like, Oh, all right, Kate. Oh, I mean, Claire. Oh, how's it going, beautiful? I was just about to phone you as well. Oh, I'm really sorry, I've been uh, busy working and I've been out with my mates and I've been sculpting in the guns and I've been getting a wax and a spray tan, I've been watching the golf, the snooker, the tennis, paint dry, finishing the crossword, but hey, why do you come over the night? I'm free. Yeah. You know. <laughs> then you stupidly drop everything for this one chance of being insulted. So, I decided I wasn't going to wait around for a hat trick off this footballer. And I gave him the red card, set him off, and it was game over, mate. <laughs> Final whistle. <laughs> so then shopping around on the market again, seeing what else is left on the shelves that's not past its expiry date, you know, looking at my options. And those that know me really well know I'm not very decisive when it comes to food or men. But I thought I knew what I wanted when I met this lovely Polish guy. I thought it was a wee bit weird that he had two names. So I didn't really get to know the real him. I mean, did he have a split personality? Was he bipolar? I don't know. Um, and on the first, so I went on a date, and he asked me to pay for the bill. He did. But, and to be honest, I was more upset that he never even left me an after dinner mint. I mean, how stingy can you get, folks? <laughs> but, so I wasn't sure about him, because I thought if he's going to make no effort from the start, then what does that say about the future together? So, I thought I'd seek advice from my, my good mates here. So, Catherine, what do you think about this Polish guy? Will I give him a chance? Absolutely not. I cannot believe he asked you on a date and then didn't even offer to pay. What a dick. Dump his ass. <laughs> Alright, okay. What do you think, Connor? Claire. Yeah. Does he have all his own teeth? Oh, right. That's a good point. So I did give him a chance then. I thought it might be, you know, I thought it might be a required taste. And, you know, I'd, I'd grow to like him. So I did give him a chance. And we dated for a while. It was lovely. And, um, you know, we went did the normal things. Went to the cinema, uh, drinks, dinner. And it was lovely. And it came to the night. You know the night. The night of passion we've all been waiting for. I'd even met, made the effort of shaving the haven, you know, just to be seasoned, of course, because it was Christmas, without all the trimmings. So that's what I did, and I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted him to be my Prince Charming, my a la carte. I wanted him to be my Mr. Right, and not just my Mr. Right now.
um, which was, it was hard to take, it was. So I thought I'd have, you know, I mean, how convenient is technology these days after all? We can get dumped by text, FaceTime, Facebook, email, phone, e oh, whatever, YouTube, Skype, skunked. So I had to uh, I text my BFF for some TLC. It went something like this. OMG, FML, talks the most. <laughs> Just been skunked. Exclamation mark. X, X, X. Sad face. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Send. That's how it went. But it just it made me think, how, how can you have something so perfect and then it could all just be gone like that? And then where you're, you're back where you started looking at your options. And I am a little bit scared because what was it? I never feel again what I felt with the lovely Finley.
beautiful Jim and Sue. Please come back. Thank you.